uh, as my colleagues they mentioned actually about the sun today we have the auspicious day where actually we are going to our own star that is the sun just i want to tell to the viewers that actually the sun which is our hero basically in the solar system if you look into the mass of the solar system 99% of the mass of the solar system is occupied by sun and also this sun is plasma now when we are talking about the heliosphere actually with this all our planets are engulfed in that thing you know we have been studying in decades maybe in centuries we have been studying about the sun but what we were lacking actually a comprehensive approach because sun is giving its energy mainly in three forms the first one is the radiation actually my colleagues already talked about which we can do remotely from our ground but the plasma basically we are talking about the solar wind what what we call the space plasma as well as the magnetic field this can be only studied by in situ if we study all this radiation particles and field then only we will get a full comprehensive understanding of the sun now we are we are getting the first space based observatory from the indian soil and we are making this opportunity and of course i am thankful to isro and all my colleagues and my teammates from vssc and all my scientific colleagues here this is the opportunity we got actually we are make, trying to make, understand actually all the three things radiation particles and field already they mentioned about the radiation now uh, dr bibin will be talking about field just i want to emphasize on the particles Plus that's why we named it as papa papa means plasma and laser package for aditya this is developed by space physics laboratory in support of vikram sarabha space center and now this instrument has two components if you look at the solar wind basically it comprises of 95% is protons then alpha particles roughly around 4 to 5% then equal number of electrons also so our papa is a comprehensive package we measuring both ions and the electrons mm. now these electrons like already our uh, colleagues they mentioned actually the major transient events like coronal mass ejection that's a huge mass which is coming out of sun basically it's a plasma basically when we are talking about solar and basically nothing but it's a extension of the corona only that that must have now these particles actually they only actually modulate the energy and momentum of the planetary atmospheres see we we when then sun is quiet like it he is not aggressive sun is what we are getting the ambient solar wind so if you look into that thing actually that one actually gives uh, what, what what we call the about the uh, the interactions what we call the normal routine phenomenon which is happening on there but when there is sun is angry so it gives like in a cme cr or these sort of events are happening that is really going to affect our planets that's what we call the space weather now our intention is to understand first of all actually what this effects basically the solar wind in the ambient condition as well as during this transient years how this solar wind behaves and also how this coronal mass ejections which is passing through different planets how actually what are the different things like what we call about the microphysics macrophysics and the mesophysics of that things that we want to understand mm -hmm. so one thing is actually is a physics subject to understand because we are getting an ideal point lagrangian point which is in the sun earth uh, plane mm -hmm. and we will be seeing the events exactly there second thing is actually we can definitely monitor the parameters like okay, what actually papa will measure the electrons and ions we will be getting energy direction and angular information uh, sorry uh, mass information mm. so if we know these things related to electrons as uh, electrons we don't want the mass but for the ions we are getting the mass information okay. coupling the all this information actually what we can do is we can derive the plasma moments mm. that will be definitely going to the modeling part actually dynamics part and that will definitely going to tell about the effect of the space weather effects ah, yes. so in due course actually when the yellow in addition to other l5 missions we will be able to tell this is the importance of the plasma missions ah, yes. that actually as, as you mentioned yes. actually earlier with the lunar mission we achieved we try to understand mm. that thing really it changed this plasma studies changed the perspective of the moon now all they will give more detail ah, yes. thank you